Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Tisho Skin. Hi, guys. Do you recognize this screen? Yes, this one right here. There's another video of me doing this <laughs> very recently that I posted up online. And, um, yeah, that video contained a series of loot box openings that I actually posted up onto the Reddit thread and on a number of places relating to Marvel Heroes Reborn. Or not Reborn, Marvel Heroes Omega. God, I keep making that damn mistake. God. Why am I that stupid to keep the same mistake over and over again? So, speaking of mistakes, um, I've, I'm not that I've been accused of it, but somebody pointed out that their most recent upgrade, or the update for Marvel Heroes Omega, Long as I'm doing has changed nothing. the drop rates cold. of the loot boxes that I did a video for previously. Now, uh, obviously, they, that's a sample size of one person who had pointed it out, but I don't want to actually have an out-of-date video, a misinformed video, actually up online so what I am going to do is actually do exactly the same thing again because I'd rather be right and give respect where respect is due a gazillion uh, that the loot drops from the previous boxes were not just really 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 bad luck so the example that was given to me was actually uh, one of the users on reddit posted up that they had bought five boxes since the update Open them up, and some of the boxes had 25 Marvelous Essence drops inside them. So, yeah, 25 rather than 4, which is kind of impressive. And it wasn't because they had received another costume, because the receiving another costume gives you 50. So, I'm curious to find out what exactly was the difference between their boxes and my boxes, or whether or not it was just extremely bad luck on my part. So, obviously, we need to buy another 25 boxes <laughs> of the Gs that uh, Gazin has contributed to my account for uh, for demonstration purposes for continuing on the stream. Now, I think this is reasonably important enough to actually do because the, the Marvel loot boxes are the only real kind of randomized loot crates in the game. Now, there's a lot of stuff that can be bought with the in-game currency, but this is kind of important, so we're going to test the system again. So there's 5 bot, 10 bot, 15, 20, 25. It still hurts. It still hurts to do this. Uh Right. Oh, man. It's a really preternatural feeling to just cringe hard whenever I did that. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Hmm. Retrieval. I'm anxious, that, I'm anxious because I'm not that I'm concerned about me being proven wrong. That's that's actually, that is not the important thing here. It's just the fact that I, I've spent what, what in the end up, like what in essence we did check and confirm last time was about 50 to $60 worth of crates with 5,000 Gs in a single spending. So this is, the price, this is the price of a full price game for the purposes of loot drops. So... Let's pray to RNG Jesus and Raptor RNG Jesus, whatever one you prefer, Flying Spaghetti Monster, all of the above. What have we got inside the Marvel loot boxes? I've got indigestion just buying those. It made me physically unwell. So let's see if um, I'm going to actually throw up all over the place just by opening these. So let's open up the first one. One of 25. <laughs> 10 legendary marks. Four Marvel Assassins. Uh, crafty material, crafty material, and crafty material. More marvelous essence, spray paint, crafty material, crafty material, and a matrix of unbinding. More marvelous essence. So, uh, if he got 25 marvelous essence from a crate drop i've got a feeling it must have been from a costume drop that had already existed again crafting material currency boost crafting material and another matrix of unbinding <laughs> Four
more marvelous essence. Lightweight armor plate, so crafting material, credit chest, and what? Uh, ten thousand mark credit chest, uh, or not ten thousand mark, ten thousand credits credit chest. Um, another matrix of unbinding and more unstable molecules for crafting materials. More marvelous essence again. So, if he actually received a box that had twenty-five marvelous essence inside it, then. I, I'm I'm so, I'm sorry. Like I don't mean to call. I don't want, don't think that you're a liar, dude. But uh, I'm calling dodge on what you said after the update going in. Another matrix of unbinding and another unstable molecule. More marvelous essence. Uh, credit chest worth five thousand. Like that. Like, a few people point out like that's the one that actually offended them the most. The five thousand credit chest. Um, experience boost, shield supply boost, and a Crafting material. Hey! Hey! Okay. All right. Interesting. So 25 Marvelous Essence, 25 Marvelous Essence, and 4 Marvelous Essence. So 54 Marvelous Essence in a single crate. Interesting. Okay. So literally, like, I complained there and I was going through them. Um... 54 Marvelous Essence from a single crate is quite impressive. That's halfway to a costume right away. So, uh, confirmed. 25 Marvelous Essence available in the loot crates. Wow, okay. Uh, I, literally, I momentarily called you a liar, dude. I apologize completely. You are exactly right. There is 25 Marvelous Essence inside crates. So, we found 54 in a single crate. That's... I'm going to point again. Video. Pointy video. Thumbnail. Something to point out. Look. 25 Marvelous Essence. Take a thumbnail. That's the one that you want to be talking about. Uh, minor experience boost and another crafting material. So, obviously, they do have interesting drops in them. Uh, again, 10 legendary marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, uh, crafting, crafting, and... <coughs> excuse me. Experience boost. Moving on through our loot box openings. 10 mar... So, right, 4, 10, and 5, 25. So, 10 Marvelous Essence, 25, 35, um, and now 39. So, 39 Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, and a shield supply boost. This is starting to actually look a lot more like Christmas. Sweet Christmas, as Luke might say. Uh, you know we've got more getting? stuff. Bone claws. I'm okay. Like, that's Bone okay. Uh, if we see these more often, I'm going to actually be a little bit more pleased. Cool. So we've seen the 10, we've seen the 25. Um, so they, obviously they're dropping so much more than they were previously. So four Marvelous Essence, uh, spray paint, a ionic particle, more um, uh, supply boost drops, and a crafting material. So the crafting material is showing up. Okay, that's cool and grand, and uh, the Marvelous Essence drops are so much higher now. So, obviously we haven't found a costume yet, but you never know what we might find. Five Legendary Marks, four Marvelous Essence, uh, Black Panther Spray Paint, a Matrix of Unbinding, which looks like a rare one. Is that actually of a different level? Uh, I don't know. And, uh, of course, more crafting materials. So, we're down to what? Three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Um, fourteen to go. Four Marvelous Essence, Minor Experience Boost, Nanotech Filament, Experience Boost, and Shield Supply Boost. So, oh, and two of these, two Experience Boosts, actually. You play the part of I like this. Logan. Actually, I'm liking I the uh, multiple drops inside of it. So you have five items, but this is obviously drop two of that item inside the box. So it's actually six items in the box this time. On board with that. That's not a problem at all. Uh, multiple drops of Experience Boost is a good, good thing. We make massive use of those as we run through all the characters that we own. Can appreciate these as much as possible. Happy enough with that. Ten legendary marks, four marvelous essence, mechanical components, unstable molecules, and cosmic fragment. Um, ten cosmic fragments. Uh, so, like, uh, at least a large amount of the crafting materials. So, um, the boxes, obviously, have, they, they have a range of content in them. So, I must have had literally the most unluckiest drop or... Possibly post update, they might have actually made a change to the drops, so they're not as uh, horrible feeling as they were previously. Um, still, like I mean, it's, it's still the fact that they're random drops. So you, this could have been just my bad luck the last time, and then this time I'm having amazingly good luck. But we'll do the breakdown after we're finished. 
10 legendary marks, 4 marvelous, uh, War Machine Spray Paint, cool. A nanotech Filament and a Matrix of Unbinding. So we're actually, what, like 5, 6 Matrix of Unbinding? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have plenty of Matrix of Unbindings even though I don't use them that often yet. Oi! Woo! Iron Man Shotgun Costume. Uh, one of the many new armors featured in Iron Man 3, the Hyper Velocity Armor nicknamed Shotgun by Tony Stark features enhanced thrusters and a visor shield for supersonic travel with a shiny silver paint job. Cool! Iron Man Shotgun! Um, it's going to get... Uh, it'll make me play Iron Man. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, I, I will probably play Iron Man now. Um, Iron Man is one of uh, Burke's favorites, if you've actually watched uh, some of my live streams with Burke. So I'll uh, on my butt. I, I think I'm, I might, maybe, maybe there might be a little bit of envy for him now. Uh, so four Marvelous Essences, Mechanical Components, Nanotech Filament, and a Cosmic Fragment. Or ten Cosmic Fragments. So yeah, that's our first costume drop of the 25. Still, uh, what, 10, 20 in? How many we got left? No, uh, 19 in, and we end up getting a costume drop. Four Marvelous Essence, uh, crafting, crafting, two more experience boosts, fair play, and a 10 Unstable Monocles. Mo monocles? Monocles! <laughs> unstable Monocles, by Jove. Pops out of your eye. And moving on to another Marvelous Loot Box. More Marvelous Essence. A Drax Flourish? Okay. Well, it's, uh, I'm suddenly going like, is Drax in this? <laughs> uh, Unstable Molecules. A Combination Boost. Happy Days. Love those Combination Boosts. And a Shield Supply Boost. <laughs> 25 Marvelous Essence again. Man, they must have changed the drop rates since I posted that video. That's... Like, I mean, comparatively, we obviously already have our... We're going to have our 100 Marvelous Essence from the four Marvelous of each one of them, but that's at least another 200 we've got so far in 25s and 10s. Um, crafting, crafting, crafting. Another four Marvelous Essence. Crafting, 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 and crafting. And stacks of 10 for each of those. Another 25 Marvelous Essence, another 4 Marvelous Essence, Mechanical Components Crafting, uh, Credit Chest for 10,000, and 10 Unstable Molecules, more crafting materials. Crafty boys, all the crafting. Another 25 Marvelous Essence, another 4. So 29 Marvelous Essence, like in the last 3 crates each. You're, 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 you're bringing up the price there, so what, for, like for a good drop, like our best drop was 50, what, 59? No, 54. 54 Marvelous Essence in a single box. That, that ends up being, what, you're chatting two quid for a skin, two, three quid on a good lucky drop like that. Okay, okay, we're, we're, get, we're getting on board here. Uh, mechanical Components, Ionic Particles, and Unstable Molecules, 10 of those. We've got three more left. 10 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, and Crafting, Crafting, and a Shield Supply Boost drop. Around our last two folks, so do you think do you think we'll get it? Go on, all right. Pray with me now. Pray with me now. I know, I know, I know one of you guys watch this little actually pre pre record, but we're just gonna focus, think, prepare, feel it. Are we going to get a skin in the last two? Are we going to get a skin in the last two? Or are we going to make it so? Because you think about it, we got two skins in the last set of twenty five, but one of the skins was already one that I owned, which probably was the Mister Knight skin, since the boxes in this when he set drop skins that are. Uh, rare or in the store, so it's probably the same Moon Knight skin that we got twice. What is going to be in these last two boxes? Feel it with me? Feel it with me? You ready? Let's see. Not really a great one. <laughs> Four Marvelous Essence, crafting a currency boost. Not too bad. Ten more unstable molecules and another ten cosmic fragments. We're down Easy to the last one, guys. Last of 25. This is actually like the comparison of difference that I'm feeling about the boxes from the last 25 to this 25. Let's see what we got. 10 legendary marks, 4 marvelous essence, crafting, crafting, crafting. Yeah, bit of an anti-climax really in the end up, isn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, the, it's not the same feeling, really. It, it doesn't feel the same. Uh, and the rage isn't as uh, obvious as well. We drop out of that, we take a wee look into our consumables and see what we pulled from it. We got uh, one combination boost, two currency boost, seven experience boost, six shield supply boosts, and three minor experience boosts, which are a 10% gain, is it? Yeah. 
bonus EXP and a 10% increase for 30 minutes. So I'm curious about the difference between experience boost and minor experiences. Um, it's a 10% increase, but uh, bonus EXP for 30. So there's no qualifiable number for the experience boost. So I would be curious to know if you guys in the comments can tell me what is the difference between experience and a minor experience. Whether or not, is this double EXP? Or, and this is just a percentage? Is that what the difference between the two of them actually are? Because they, their cost is different, of course, in the uh, pay store. And we'll go down here to the crafting. Take a look in. Um, I don't too sure. I might have had this. I might have had some stuff in my pockets before we started. But uh, we have two Astral Essence, 91 Cosmic Fragments, a $5,000 credit chest, a $30,000 or three $10,000 credit chest, uh, Unjoyed Particles, and a variety of craft materials. And we end up with, what, it? Matrix of Unbinding? That's not too bad. And 103 Unstable Molecules. I'm curious. I'm pretty sure some of these must have been in my pocket before we actually started. Um, like, because I did just log into the game. I didn't empty my pockets before doing this. Um, boom, boom, boom. That is them all covered and checked. So, what do we need to do now is go and look at the Marvel's Essence store. Logan, you think so we need to go and have a wee word with a Moon Dragon over here? The Moon Dragon about there. She is right there. And see how much we actually have in total. So 410 marvelous essence in total. That's including the 140 that we had from the very beginning. No, was it 150? Yeah, 150 that we had in the beginning. So 410 minus 150 is. Anybody else doing their math? Can you remember their math? Do you remember? Like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? That's 150 plus another 100. And, so it's 207. 260. <laughs> 260 marvelous essence in those loot crates am i making i'm, 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 I'm just going to double check to make sure i didn't make an arse myself 150 150 300 100, 100, 100. yes just making sure <laughs> this is one of those things where like while you're live streaming you don't want to do math just in case <laughs> because you can't stop it you have to go like oh i'll have to edit that out and then just dub it over like drink drink duff responsibly <laughs> um we've got one of the skins we bought we have we received a new skin so uh we'll go in here and just uh sort it by rarity because that'll actually sort it out for us so of course experience boost all the things you can buy as usual let's see what the breakdown of what 260 could buy us um obviously the iron spider at 140 most of the rest of them at 100 um the iron man shotgun armor which we received in the actual uh crates themselves so we have that skin so cost of 100 obviously it's worth uh the rest of these at 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 and we already have a Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, as well, from our previous set of 25. So, we can buy four skins, if we wanted to buy four skins. We could have bought two skins with the 210 that we had, or, of course, two of the power upgrades, which we didn't receive any of in this this set of drops. But, um, I don't know what way the cost is for crafting those. But, uh, yeah. 210. So... 210 and 25 boxes just save for if we were buying 25 boxes if we had 10 essence in each one of them because some of those boxes were 25s a lot of them were four some of them uh, one of them was actually 30 uh, 39 because of a 25 a 10 and a four being in the same box now obviously something's changed because that was a like for for me to have a bad 25 and come out with what i did in the previous video and then have 210 in uh, this 25. I mean, that's a bit of an increase. I mean, the only reason why I had 150 in the last crate is because I got the same skin twice. So I got 210 plus a skin. In the last one, I got 150 plus a skin. The ratios are rising. I don't know if that makes you guys happy. It still works out at 70 bucks for three skins in the end up. Uh, so 70 bucks for three skins. Is that, is that the price point? Is that where the level is for the value of them? And I mean, skins are skins. You're not meant to own absolutely every single one of them. There's a reason why there's a rarity and a drop system to them. Uh, the discussion that we've been having on Reddit has been really interesting, uh, eye-revealing, and the fact that people are doing the comparisons between the PC game and the PS4 game. Do people feel that they're actually getting their value for money on the loot crates now compared to the previous video? What is the difference... In your opinion, has it, how, do you still feel as bad and as ripped off? Or do you feel like 
it's been improved to the point where I don't dislike it. Any improvement, in my opinion, is great. I was really surprised to find out about the 25 Marvel Assassins being dropped. I did not know that happened at all because, like, in my 25 previous ones, I didn't get a single one of those. So, if you're guaranteed a 4, at minimum, but at highest chance, like in my case, was 15, uh, 54. Like, in your, if you can get a chance between getting 4 and 54 per crate, is that where it's worthwhile? Because if you get in 54 on a couple of crates, that's two crates. It's not that expensive for a skin. But if you're buying 25 of them and you come out with 210 Marvelous Essence, you tell me. You, you, you tell me if that is if that is the, the bread line for you. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the previous videos and you want to see more stuff here on the channel, I really hope to hear from you in the comments underneath and actually on the thread that those will be posted on in all of the places. And if you enjoy the series here on the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button up there or the follow button down there or wherever it actually might be that you're seeing this. Um, up votes, down votes, all the other same kinds of votes. I would actually appreciate them. And if you want to find me without having to subscribe to anything, you can, of course, just type in Passage of Skin into Google. Be easy to find me. I'm not trying to hide, guys. I'm right here. And, of course, since this is going to be probably up on YouTube as well, you can actually hit the links. It'll pop up right about now. Up here on the top right will be actually other crate videos or other videos related to this channel. Possibly cold opens or more kind of vloggy stuff. Over on the far side will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And of course right here will be a video designed for you based on your personal preferences on YouTube. It'll actually take the Google Analytics and find a video that you should watch that's sitting right here. More than likely if you're coming here from the previous video, it'll be doing the other Marvel's Light video. So um, you guys, I love actually having you here. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all the comments and all of the thoughts and messages I've received in the last couple of days. Oh, do you want to see more Marvel Heroes? Do you want to see more of me? Then tell me. I would look forward to hearing about it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.